What's going on, everybody? Gary B. Jr., your media consultant here, and we are going to be talking about a very important quick tip to help you level up your templates when it comes to using free show. There are automatically some templates that are built into the program. But what I want to do today is show you a quick tip that I've found useful for me. And hopefully you'll find some value in it yourself. And this has to do with how to navigate and manage your templates so that when there's no text in the template, then your background for that particular text won't show up either. All right. So let me show you all what I mean. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. So here's a scripture here. And I've got it here and it's got this transparent kind of translucent box behind it. And if we go to media, what I'll do is I'll add in a background just so you can see what I'm talking about here and get a better idea. So let's do, we're going to do video. We'll do a regular text. Let's do a grunge background. And this is about Genesis. We'll do something fun let's do this one so i'm gonna drag this on here all right so it's a fairly bright backdrop and so you can see it there which is great i love that but it's got this translucent box just to make sure that the audience can see the text even better all right now what i'm recommending you do is as you have a template that looks like this and as you go through if you were to go to the next slide and it's a blank slide, what ends up happening is you still have that translucent box. How do we make that go away? All right, so let's talk about that. Let's go to our templates. And as you can see, I'm on this big bold box template that I've created here. All I need to do is right click on it and go to edit. And this is my box with the translucent. If I right click on this again, now I can go to this option that says conditions. And under conditions, it shows you your box. I labeled my box big, so it says big. And then it says show item if, and I'm going to select if text is not blank. Okay, as long as it's not blank. So I'm not going to put anything in the value there, then the box will show. All right, but if the text is blank, what that means is the box will not show. So now let's go back to the show. I'm going to go here, which is the slide right before it. And I'm going to make it big so you guys can see when I arrow to the right, check out what happens. It goes completely blank and then it comes back with the text. Now, for um, your ministry, there are a number of different reasons or applications for this, especially if you're using it for lower thirds. Right. So let me give you an idea of what that looks like for lower thirds. And I will pop up this one. And so this is what it looks like for my lower thirds. Instead of this being blue, imagine this being a camera feed. All right. So you're showing the scripture. I'm going to go back to the previous verse. So the scriptures there, the scriptures there. And then you get to a blank one and you want to just show the video feed of the pastor or the teacher or the worship team, whatever it is, that would go away. And it's not going to just show this little red box at the bottom. That's the goal. And then we come back to the next verse. It comes back in. All right, so everything is dynamic and working with the text. When there's text there, there's a background there. When there's no text, there's no background. I think this is going to be a powerful tip for you when it comes to fine tuning your presentations just to level them up that much more uh, as you go through your services. So this one is designed for media leaders uh, who are trying to improve their presentation. This is for those who are using free show for business and things like that. And all we did was we made sure that we went into our template we just right clicked to edit it and then we right clicked on any area that has a background with text and we just said right click and select condition to say only show if there is if the text is not blank okay that's what this means show the item if the text is not blank all right hopefully that helps you improve if so, leave me a comment below to let me know how you plan to use this for your ministry or if, if you even plan to use it for your ministry or if you were even thinking about a way to alleviate that from happening um, for your presentations. All right. Till next time. Talk to you later. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it helped you in a major way. Now, at this point, most people would ask you to like and subscribe. And I think that's great. But my goal is a little bit different. My goal is to empower as many people as possible all over the globe. And there's one way that you can really help me do that. And that is to leave a comment below with a question, a thought, 
um, how this video may have helped you or things that were left out that you still have questions about and to share this video with someone just like you someone who is looking for answers someone who's curious and wants to grow with your help i believe we can build a community of people that want to grow together so until next time god bless